Hello and thanks for joining me. I'm uh, just returning home from a few days away uh, touring and, and camping on my Triumph Bonneville Sc uh, Scrambler 1200 and um, had a fantastic time and I, I'm just um, you know reflecting on where the pleasure of motorcycling lies for me and you know it's interesting because it's not with necessarily riding fast. Now I do understand the thrill of speed um, and I understand why people uh, enjoy riding uh, uh, bikes fast but the reality is that for most riders the thrill of riding is not directly correlated to, to speed. If it were we'd all be riding 180 brake horsepower sports bikes or muscle bikes so if you enjoy riding a bike that struggles to hit 70 miles an hour and you know has brakes and suspension that make you question your own sanity when you when you you know do anything uh, up to the legal speed limit then i would suggest that you do not worship the god of speed so this begs the question if not speed then what and this is not a simple question um, because there's no one simple answer I, I suspect that there are very few riders who have not pondered this matter either just through self-reflection or through being challenged by somebody else you know why do you ride a motorbike so if you ask somebody why they ride a, a motorcycle it, it's like asking about their religion it, it's a question that can lead to the unpeeling of many complex layers of, of, of uh, temperament disposition culture uh, influences uh, beliefs hopes aspirations and, and, and personal circumstances and as with the question of religion no people will have exactly the the same answer we all navigate our own unique route through life motorcycling is a broad church and and that's one of the things i love about it it has many denominations and sex uh, it, it has its uh, charismatic gurus and its priests some love the sport side some only ride for competition be it motocross you know trials gp or, or track days and things like that but other people are not interested in the sport side of it you know for me ever since i first threw my leg over a, over a motorcycle my main passion has been touring motorcycle touring um, goes beyond just the motorcycle riding aspect um, and by that I mean to say that touring is not just riding for longer over greater distances rather um, touring takes riding to a well for me anyway a whole new level of experience and it's that what I want to try and articulate today because I, I find touring is very special it's not just going on holiday and it's not just going on a long ride. And I think a, a, a long journey on a motorcycle taps into some deep-seated human, oh, I don't know, need for, for, for romance and adventure. I believe that humans are genetically programmed to find the idea of a long journey to be romantic and appealing. It, it's at the very heart of what constitutes adventure to the human nature. And this can be found throughout literature. Homer's Odyssey is the story of a great journey. The Lord of the Rings is the story of a great journey. Look at so many popular stories. Treasure Island, you know. They're, 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 these, are, these are all about great journeys. And most people are, 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 are who are passionate about motorcycle touring are, are familiar with things like Ted Simon's adventures in his Jupiter's travels when he went around the, the, the world on, on a triumph. And of course, yeah, most people are familiar with Charlie Borman and Ewan McGregor's long way around. And what makes that so appealing? Well, the great adventure that, that they had. So, you know, the, the conclusion that I draw from this, that it's at the very essence of hu human nature to, to love and romanticise long journeys. Um, you might be familiar with the writings of Joseph Campbell, and he, he wrote a book, uh, Hero with a... I'm going to go down this way. Yeah. Uh, so he wrote... Campbell wrote the book... Um, uh, hero with a thousand faces in which he, he purported to distill the myths and stories from cultures all around the world and he said they all have this commonality about a hero going on a journey going on a quest and I think one of the reasons why this is so popular is that a long journey is also a metaphor we use for understanding life 
you know, we, we see life as a journey, a journey with, you know, struggles, you know, monsters we meet and you know, tasks that we have to, to overcome. When you go on a, on a motorcycle tour, you step out of your usual habitual world into a different world. Um, a world that involves not just different places, but different people, different food, different culture. You have different routines, different daily routines, and this be breaks your habitual patterns that you're familiar with. Um, and you can sometimes, just in everyday life, f you know, find yourself sleepwalking through life in these habitual patterns. Go on a, on a motorcycle tour, and this is all broken for you, and you then suddenly have to, you know, face. Um, the world and look at it through different eyes. In all uh, archetypal heroes' journey stories that we find in fiction, the hero always returns home a changed person. And the same is true when you come home from a motorcycle tour. Life is never quite the same after you've completed a, a long motorcycle journey. And of course, you experience this different uh, worldview from, from any kind of break, any kind of holiday, but there's something about the, the mode and pace of travel of a, a motorcycle trip that taps into that kind of primeval part of the brain um, that I'm talking about here. And I think that's because riding a motorcycle on a trip, a long trip, is essentially romantic. It's so romantic. Okay. Thanks for listening. See you again soon. Ride safe. Bye.